Hello, my friends. I'm back from China. It's great to see you. I'm tired, exhausted, but it was a great trip. I've got to say, I am kind of glad to be home. And I've also got to say that, holy hell, we should be very, very scared of China. Maybe in a good way, maybe not. Depends on how you're looking at it. Put it this way, guys. The technology in China, when you're actually seeing the cars there in person, it's mind-blowing. I mean, they are so far ahead. I don't think there's anything we can do now. Guys, I said a couple of years ago, this race was already over. It was finished. The technology race when it comes to cars. The only company that might be able to contend with China, maybe, is Tesla with their autonomous, because they're going all in on autonomous driving, on AI. They're the only ones who might be able to. Everyone else, yeah, guys, honestly, the rest of the automotive industry is pretty much screwed. Now, there is a breakthrough new EV battery. It does 1 million miles, handles minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Those temperature ranges are totally fine and totally normal. They will actually also last for more than 5,000 cycles with a state of health above 70%. This is insane. Now, China's Farasis Energy unveiled a new electric vehicle battery with insane range, climate temperature tolerances, and charge cycle lifespan. If you're thinking this all sounds too good to be true, well, it's actually not. And the reason I say that is because Cadle, they also have a very similar battery. In fact, their battery is in a few EVs already. Their lithium ion phosphate, their new version of their Shenzhen battery. However, uh, Geely have the golden battery or the Aegis or Aegis battery, which also has very similar capabilities, 550 kilowatt fast charging, energy density that is just mental for a lithium ion phosphate battery, 240 watt hours per kilogram energy density, which is just insane. This new battery crucially suffers, but basically doesn't suffer at all in the cold. Now, a big complaint about batteries, Tesla vehicles and other cars is when it's really cold in parts of say, Northern North America, the battery performance can suffer. In the standard range model Y, standard range model three, that can happen. However, these new batteries, along with batteries from the other, the other batteries I just mentioned, operate completely normally at minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty close to that in Celsius, minus 30 degrees Celsius, and 149 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 65 degrees Celsius. As far as I know, there's no country in the world where it's uh, hotter than 65 degrees Celsius. If it was, well, that would be literally a, a sauna temperature, uh, and that would not be good. Now, if you're wondering what I talk about, guys, <laughs> I have an infrared sauna and a finished sauna, and this is basically infrared sauna temperatures, maximum you can handle. So that's incredibly hot. And also, 70% state of health after thousands of charge cycles? I mean, that's that's ridiculous. Frasis Energy actually showed off this new battery at the Asian Automotive Supply Chain Conference held in Thailand from the 18th of June and the 19th. Now, Thailand is, um, when it comes to EVs, their automotive industry has been transformed. And Thailand, intriguingly, will be a place where China will launch its cars from. Well, they're already doing it now. Many Chinese manufacturers are building battery factories and EV plants in Thailand. And that's one of the key reasons why EVs are selling so well in the country, but it's also part of the reason why you're gonna see more and more cars made in right-hand drive for right-hand drive markets in Thailand. That's where they're going to be manufactured. The ASEAN or ASEAN Automotive Supply Chain Conference focuses on integration within the automotive industry. It highlights trends, innovations, and challenges, says interesting engineering, bringing together industry leaders, policymakers, and stakeholders. And basically, it, they display some of the newest technology. When I was in Bangkok, I got to go to this for a few hours, not very long. But yeah, I mean, if you can get there, it's worth checking it out. This new battery is insane. I mean, guys, you're looking at energy density in addition to that of a, a, similar, a similar number to what we're seeing from uh, new 4680 Tesla battery cells. A little bit higher, apparently. We don't know exactly, but apparently it's meant to be slightly higher, a couple of percent higher, no matter what the case is. 
Um, the ability of these batteries is truly staggering to last this long. I mean, honestly, 1,000 miles. Would you ever drive that far in a car? I don't think so. But would you potentially use the battery pack for something else once the car is, you know, 20, 30 years old? Probably. I mean, guys, there are people right now that have done this at their properties. They're using old bus battery packs in their houses for energy storage. I know someone personally who's doing that. Kudos to him, by the way. But that's common. That will be more and more common in the future. This new battery shows incredible promise for new energy passenger buses, trucks, cars, even energy storage. I mean, even using the, this sort of battery technology as like a Tesla Powerwall, for example. According to Frasus Energy's Jack Peng, it boasts high performance, top-notch safety, robust temperature adaptability, and incredibly long cycle life advantages. If these claims are true, and I suspect they are considering Frasus Energy is a legitimate battery company in China, then um, yeah, this would definitely be the kind of battery you should look for in an EV or in any product, you know, look and see what the battery is before you actually buy it. Is that battery gonna last you a very long time? Batteries, they say, these batteries can function completely normally from 30 degrees, minus 30 degrees, all the way up to 65 degrees Celsius. Now, incredibly, the batteries can undergo 2,500 cycles with a state of, it's basically a state of charge greater than 70%. So even if this battery is, has done, you know, a million kilometers, it's still going to have, or even a million miles, it's still going to have more than 70% battery health. In a 45 Celsius environment, a single battery cell can undergo 1,500 cycles with a state of health greater than 70%. The batteries are resistant to high temperature environments, can discharge at high rates without any issues, and the temperature of a single battery cell only increases by about 41 Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius, meaning, I mean, they can handle a lot of heat incredibly well. Now, for ISS Energy, they say this, right? They say tests carried out at their lab show that these batteries can endure 5,000 cycles with a state of health of 70%. And that's legitimately gonna get you to your 1,000 miles. Sorry, I should say 1 million miles, guys. Anyhow, Peng said this, these batteries are capable of more than 1 million miles, and they'll be perfect for things like buses, coaches, um, trucks, you know, use cases where you might actually legitimately do a million miles. You're probably not going to do that in an EV unless it's a taxi. And then, well, yeah, it'd be perfect. It'd be perfect for cases like Uber, for example. Now, Frasus is a pretty big player. They've been around for 27 years. They make batteries for various different companies. And they say that they're global leaders. Now, they're not right now. I mean, Cadel, BYD, they're the two biggest battery companies in the world by a mile. But... For Asus Energy, if they can mass manufacture these batteries, then this little company could be worth considering investing in even potentially, but definitely worth looking at what they're doing in the future. Guys, it's worth lo looking at this market because looking at these new battery packs from Cadel, from Geely, the industry is moving much faster than what we thought. I mean, we're looking at charging speeds of 550 kilowatt now being becoming the standard in China. They're so far ahead. It's insane.